Dave Snyder here. It is October the 31st, 2012. Happy Halloween, everybody. Okay, so here we go. I hope you got a big screen because I'm using a 42-inch screen and I can see this really clear. Uh, this is this is your storm, the super storm from the other day, still hanging in the same spot, right in the center of that circle, of, of the, that crater right there. See that? Okay, so it's hanging. At, it's staying right here for the last three days. It's it's stayed. It's been circulating right in the spot, same spot. Hasn't moved at all. So nothing's pushing it off. Nothing's. All this weather's just sitting right here in this circle. Okay, so. This alignment that I did, I, I, I overlaid it to fit to this circle because it's, it, it, was, it fits perfectly. So let's just take a look at the weather over th this reversed image overlay of the moon surface. This is Mare Oriental Basin. It's a big crater on the side of the moon that we do not see. And it's multi-ring. It's, it's hit the Earth more than one time, more than once. It's shaped our entire planet, actually. Okay, so let's just let's take a look at this crater here. Okay, so there's your storm. Look at look at the edge of the, of the of the cloud pattern. Now watch as I fade it in and out. Look at it all. This is the edge. You see the edge it comes around here, and you see the edge of this right here. Look at that. Okay. And then it circulates around. It looks like and comes up here. And look at the look at the weather in this in this over the moon. Watch. Oops. see that look at that right along this ridge you got this point right here and it all fit everything is fitting in this picture and I mean I, I'll show you in a second the rest I mean but look at that you can see the crater right here this little crater in the corner right here look at that that is a beautiful alignment of the moon surface over the earth it's, it's perfectly aligned pretty much I mean then come over here and check this weather out look at this See this pattern? Watch. Look at that fit right in there. Fits right in there. It all does. So there you go. There's the reason that storm is sitting there. And this is, I mean, look at this. Look at this impact. Look at the, look at the weather fit. Because this is an accurate alignment. That weather would not fit like that if I didn't have this in the right spot. If it wasn't in the right spot, the weather would not fit this way. People think that, oh, yeah, anywhere you put it, the weather is going to look, gonna look like it fits. And it's not that way. It has to be in the right spot. And you see this right here. This is a very, very accurate alignment for Greenland. You can see, see what creates this space in Greenland right here. Watch. Right here, this space right here. Right there. Look at the texture here right here this dark texture look at that look at that match look at the Hudson Bay match okay let's put the borders on check the borders look at the borders match match the land there look at that so we got the moon impacts all over the earth either that or someone's trying to make it look like it but I mean it's I've used every kind of image that I can of the moon surface that you know not everyone I guess but I've used uh, several of this crater and it all it'll fit any it doesn't matter if it's the 1978 drawing of Mare Oriental Basin or 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 Google Moon even I mean Google Moon is garbage but it does give you some Google Moon is good for for showing you one thing and that's that the, that this is the Mayan calendar this the Mayan calendar is a picture of this crater that's one the only thing that Google Moon is good for is showing you that and that's it because they built the pyramids because of this crater this used to face the earth and there is you can't see it in this picture very well but there's a pyramid on the top of this right right around here so right right here somewhere pyramid here's here's probably one of them I don't know it's hard to see in this picture but I have the, the Google moon let's just go take a look at some of that stuff for fun here okay so yesterday I was playing with it again hold on a second here we go Oh wait, this I want this other one. Okay, so this is the Mayan calendar. Actually, this is a picture of Mare Oriental Basin. It might be a calendar, but it's a picture of the moon. As they saw the moon, this is a picture of that moon that they saw. And let me just bring up the uh, image of Google. This is a Google Moon image. It's pretty, it's pretty uh, bland, to say the least. They leave out. You can see what they leave out. I mean, look, you just saw that other crater. It's got all the detail. 
But this one here, Google Moon, they show you the pyramid on the top right here. Now this is the exact way the calendar is right here. The calendar, it, it looks like this, right? Looks like this with these pyramids at the top, this pyramid at the top and, and all this stuff, right? And the, and the guy, okay, so this is the way they saw the moon right here, just like this. There's the pyramid at the top with the big light at the top or a big bright spot at the top right here. There's the pyramid. And this is shaped just like that, the same shape as the pyramid on the, on the Mayan calendar, this, this right here. And, and the reason I, I think it's, well, I, I don't think it. I, I pretty much am sure of it, that this is why they built pyramids, because this used to face the earth right here. It was very close to the earth, and it, it's hit the earth a bunch of times, this crater. So there's the pyramid on the top. This is the reason why all the ancient civilizations built pyramids, because you can also see that the Egyptian pyramids, they are eight-sided. They, I know people are going to say no, they're not. Okay, but they are eight-sided. There's each on each of the four sides. There's a there's a line down the middle of each each of the four sides. It makes it into an eight-sided pyramid, which is what I think I see here. You see this? It comes out this way, and you got the line in the center. I think that's why they built the pyramids that way. I mean, that's it's all just you know guess, but it's all theory. But I mean, it's more. It makes a lot of sense because this used to hit the earth, and and it used so it used to face the earth, and it looks just like the Mayan calendar, and it, it is the Mayan calendar. It's the Mayan calendar is a picture of this this crater, picture of the moon basically, and here's at the bottom you see the, uh, the two two men facing each other at the bottom, and I believe you see from a distance you can kind of see how this comes down to an eight, to a point down here, and if if you look in here, you can see there's like, it's not going to be a perfect picture of this crater, all right? It's going to, it's an artistic rendition of the moon, so it's going to be, there's going to be some differences in the, but you can see what they saw, and, and you can see what they were looking at here. If you look at some of the, the moon images of this crater, let's just take a look at, at it overall, and just take a look and see how much similar it is from a distance. There's your pyramid. There's, look at this, look at this feature on the side of the moon, right, or on the side of the crater right here, this big area here. Now take a look at the, at the mine calendar right here this part with the point going off the ed the the end of it you can see it's a big round area it's got like a point coming off and see it like that right there that's this is that I know this is that this is this is the same thing you see like this mouth thing look, looking thing and it's the same thing you see this see the same angles and everything in there Okay, and they would have had to add one to this side to make it a balanced picture. So I mean, that's basically what they're what the, what you got there. And then you got let me let me bring up another one. This one I don't know if I got this lined up yet to the to the Mayan calendar. I used to have it lined up. I've showed videos on this before. I mean, it's wait. All right, let's try to get this one lined up here. This is the one that shows you that'll show you the most. I do believe this is the drawing of the Mayan calendar. Look at that. It looks just like the Mayan calendar. I mean, it's it's got the multiple rings, just like the Mayan calendar does. The pyramid at the top. Can't see it in this picture, but it's there. Remember, this is a drawing of Mare Oriental. What I lined up on this one was I li I saw this this big crater here, and I lined that up to that circle right there thinking that that might be the, the right place but you can see how they this this crater has like a here this one it has like these square shaped square edges like four of four of them actually like the mine counter does like see this right here there's one there you can barely see it in this picture just a terrible picture but you can see that there are they are and they have the little characters in them you can see how the characters match in here I mean, look, look right here where this dark character is right here. You can see it's kind of a darker area, darker character. And it's, you can see something right there. And then you look at the other ones, you can see something right there. I mean, I'm just, maybe I'm just seeing things, but I'm, I'm telling you, this is, this is what the Mayan calendar is a picture of, the moon. And there, that is why they built pyramids. I, I almost guarantee it. Because it used to face the Earth. It has hit the Earth. So, you know, take it for what it's worth. You, you know, believe the scientists if you want that everything's created by plate tectonics when you got all these moon prints on the earth I just showed the other day that seven and that's an impact right in the center right there so believe what you want I mean you can see that that's an impact you can see it this whole thing is a big big giant impact that's the dead center of the impact right there 
So, I mean, you know, what, what creates that spot in the center with all this subduction around the outside of it? And then you've got a curve that comes right, it cuts right through here in, in, in Australia. This curve, this is the, the edge of Mare Oriental. It just hits right here. So, I don't know. I guess that's it. Kind of running out of things to say. Look into it. It's worth it. Moons hit the earth. I know it sucks to have to, to know that, but, you know, that's the way it goes. Truth hurts sometimes. All right.